Okay, well, my room here is, is grand. It's beautiful, it's glorious, it's glamorous, it's magnificent. Come on in, let me show you. Ah! Look at this room. Mind you, this is the cleanest my room has ever been since I moved in, the day I moved in. Now, this is my bed, which is never clear of particles. There's always something on my bed. Clothes, a Fuji t-shirt. I, <laughs> this is my, uh, my rap group, and they're called the Fugees. This is some of our paraphernalia, the Fugees. This is my bag, this is my traveling bag that never leaves my side because being a student slash artist, I'm always, you know, traveling. So this is the bag that's always packed. So when I have to get up and go, I can just get up and go or something. Being that, you know, nutrition is very important to the college student. We have Apple Jacks. A is for Apple. J. Corn Pops. Okay. Ruffles. Ruffles have ridges. What else do we have here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, a little healthy. Okay, a little cold and flu tea. Thanks for my father. Something, you know, then, then you have calcium. This always takes care of the, uh, you know. That area, food groups, quick. Snack pack is also, you know, that's, that's good for your milk, your milk products. Then you have uh, corn flakes, corn. All right, corn, yeah. Swiss Miss honey, a little Skippy peanut butter, you got your protein. Come on, we're doing good, we're doing very good. On an occasional day, we eat sponges when we have nothing else. That's how desperate we get here, man. It's terrible, right here is my desk that's never in use. I'm always studying some strange place. This is another thing of, you know, student slash artist, you gotta have magazines like Billboard and The Source just to read up on stuff. And also, you know, your, your trusty tape recorder when you miss class. This is my small record collection. This is like only a microcosm of what I have at home. When I was younger, I was like a really crazy kid and I never listened to the stuff that all my friends were listening to. I mean, everybody else was listening to Cool and the Gang and and the reflex, and I was listening to uh, Marvin Gaye and Billie Holiday, which was kind of strange, because I used to get teased a lot, but, you know, I, I grew up and <laughs> the drama's left me. But uh, this is, I have a crazy, crazy record collection. I have, like, uh, I was raised on that, like, really righteous, conscious stuff, 60s and 70s, where my parents are like, you know, Ungawa, Black Power, Afro, Dashiki wearing, you know, kids. So this is how, Basically, I was raised, and a lot of that, much of that is still within me, and it comes out in my rhymes now. You know what I mean? That The last poets were a, a, a group of four members, and they, they were poetry to drums. And my parents and, like, the people, you know, where they grew up, that's what they used to blast in their radios. Like, we blast Public Enemy or KRS-One. I don't know if you know those groups, but uh, people I listen to. But anyway, um, this is still my room. This is my hat slash toiletry slash linen closet. And uh, this is my closet, come on. Okay, just move a couple things. This is how I'm living. Pretty foul, huh? Yeah, that's what I think. That's how I'm living, yeah. From the next day to the next, let's close this back up before everything falls out. And I'm not gonna pick it back up, so. These boots, well, I have them in brown too. They're my, well see, for me, okay, in terms of hip hop, the whole culture that you know I'm involved in. My shoes, I'm not gonna say my shoes are important. What you wear is not important, especially if something, if what's coming out your mouth, okay, is powerful enough to overpower what you look like. But this is basically what I've been wearing, boots like these, since I was very young, you know what I mean? So for me to wear flat shoes and heels, I feel like I'm gonna tip over. But uh, let's see, what are these? These are, uh, what do you call these? Who makes these? I don't know, I just buy them. <laughs> But um, these are gorilla, gorilla boots. Not gorilla as in gorilla warfare, but gorilla like, you know, Donkey Kong. This is the, uh, the loud old school. Okay, old school is terminology for very old. Fire alarm that wakes us up like 4 a.m. every couple of weeks. This is the kitchen. This is one of the kitchens on our floor. I never use this kitchen. I, I haven't cooked yet. I've been here for about six months and I haven't, I haven't cooked yet. Um, as you can see, we don't clean too often as well. This is the stove. Ah, sponges. Various garbage particles in the sink. It's a very clean existence we have here. 
at a 762 113th in Broadway. I like living uptown though. Uptown is, is where it's at for me. But Jersey is definitely where it's at. It's where I'm from originally. This campus is uh, cool because there are a lot of young people here. We did a, a show for something called the Harlem Restoration Project yeah. where we just rapped for these kids. You know, kids who don't have every opportunity in the world. You know what I'm saying? I mean, realistically. And the thing is, is that it was incredible. I mean, they were, they were crazy doing whatever they wanted to do, but once we started to rhyme, it was like the attention was was completely and directly towards us. So to me, if you have that ability to have somebody's attention, why, you know, why misuse it? Or why, or why not use it to your fullest potential? We're a hip hop, a straight up hip hop rap, okay, group. But we, what we perform with a live bass guitarist and a live drummer, and in the future, even more pieces than that. But Fuji's is short for refugees, okay? The two brothers here being of Haitian descent, so refugees in that sense. But refugees because we're saying basically everybody's seeking refuge from something, okay? Everybody's seeking refuge, you know, on a serious level. And that's, that's Fuji's. Okay, my feelings, my style is willing if you let me, or if I choose to, because when Ms. Zip said I don't have to, so think again before you test the system, because with my girls behind me, we got lots of problems. I mean, that's the way I rhyme, but that's not a, like a true representation of the way I, I really rhyme. I mean, that's Disney, you know, it's a rap for Sister Act 2. So yeah. you didn't write that? No, I did write it. You did? Yeah, I did write it. Why did you laugh? It has nothing serious no, to say? No, it, it actually has something serious to, that, to say. It's, it's almost, it's like a, uh, it's like a feminist uh, rhyme. The, I said, um... Here I go on the microphone about to wreck it. You thought a female MC couldn't do it, but now check it. If the blues is what you choose, I'll kick it Count Basie style. But if bebop is what you rock, I'll kick the monk of some miles. Or Billy won't grab no fillies. My style is willing if you let me, or if I choose to, cause women's libs that I don't have to. So think again before you test the sister. Cause with my girls behind me, we got lots of power, mister. Something like that. I mean, it was, it's saying something. You know what I mean? It's about, you know, females just taking over the mic. <laughs> Listen, you have just a little bit more attitude than I like, but I've decided I'm a dog you no matter what. I think I th most people who meet Whoopi hit it off well with her. She uh, is a genuine person. And if you respect realness, then you have to respect Whoopi. I mean, even if you don't agree, we used to always have debates, especially with, I think the first time I met her, we got into like a debate about just issues. But the thing is, is that she respects my difference. I respect her difference. And so we got along. And on top of that, she's also a very nice person. She, she went far and beyond, you know, uh, her obligations. Okay, she did things for us. She was almost like the parent, the mother of the whole cast and crew on set. Okay, where she could have locked herself up in her, um, in her trailer, you know, and, and called it a, a good four months. But she ate with us. She invited us to her home. You know, she she wisened us, okay, on on certain industry things that, as young people, we you know, inexperienced young people, we didn't always have information about. So she's very caring. I, I really love Whoopi Man. God of glory, Lord of love, hearts unfold like flowers before. It's very difficult what I'm doing. And, um, you know, if you don't like hard work, I wouldn't suggest it. But if you have a lot of goals, you know, and, and then no limitations to what you'll do to achieve those goals, by any means necessary, I wanted, there's specific things I want to do, especially in the music that I say. There are messages, definite messages that I want to relay to kids that I grew up with. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and correct what's wrong. You know, if that's something that's easier said than done, I know, but I'm doing it too. You know what I mean? I'm no exception to anybody's rule, okay? I'm just like so many of my brothers and sisters out there. So, you know, that's basically what I want to say. I mean, there are a lot of social ills that people like me, people I grew up with, and just people in general, universally, have to deal with, okay? Some really uh, insurmountable odds. But I just think it's doable. And I think that if more people who do achieve something try to open doors and, uh, you know, open pathways for other people, then it's definitely doable. Hey, yo, one, two, three.
Uh-huh. The crew is car refugees. Uh-huh. And if you come for test the rap style, uh-huh. stop the violence and just bring it on. Why yo? There are millions of people out there who can sing circles around me and act circles around me. And probably, you know, uh, sing every night at the such and such lounge on Pico Street or whatever, you know what I mean? Every night but never get discovered because they're either at the wrong place or they never bump into those right people. I was blessed to, for some reason, meet those right people and be at the right place at the right time so someone could see what I had to offer. I mean, I I, I really truly feel blessed. Just to wake up and see yourself on a poster. I mean, number one, this poster wasn't up here until today. Okay, this is this is free publicity. <laughs> nah, these are this is a, a setup from the guys in my group. Okay, <laughs> they did this. But uh, you know, um, I mean, it's crazy when you look on a, a, a soundtrack and you see your name as author or on an album and you see your name as author, performer, artist, or you turn to BET or MTV and you see your video. That's that's odd. But um, I don't know. I just. It, it is wonderful, but I don't, I don't know what to say. Sometimes I don't even have that much time to really you know, think about anything, for anything. I set my alarm clock, okay, for five minute interval. I will take a five minute nap. What do you know about a five minute nap? And feel rested, like, you know, that's terrible. But, you know, I'm getting, every, everything's coming together. Yo, I feel kind of melancholy. People think they really know me. I keep my rap up me while I drop it, daddy shouty. But music right now definitely is my priority. Yeah, I'm not trying to be rich. You know, I'm not trying to be a superstar. Happiness is very important to me. I like to be comfortable, you know, but um, there are just things I want to do conscious-wise, you know, for my own heart. You know, I'm family-oriented. I don't need three Rolls Royces. You know, I don't need a castle in the sky. You know, this is fine for me. This is fine for me. This is the way I grew up. You know, no, I don't need anything more than this.